Hello, I'm Pumlani Babela. Welcome to the second video of my SOA tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the installation process of the tools that is the application server and the ESB. The ESB, you can get it from JBoss. We're going to use JBoss tool. I think for the f maybe for the first 10 episodes, uh, we're going to use JBoss ESB. And then later on, we're going to use Mule. Okay, we need to download this archive. This is a JBoss um, ESP that runs within an application server. That's what we want. This one, it has a built-in microkernel with it, the JBoss microkernel. So it doesn't need to run within an application server. You can actually download it and, and fire it up. This one comes with installation scripts and then that's the source. So we're going to download this archive and we also need to download the application server. This one is the URL 6.1.0.final. I've already downloaded mine here. Okay, we need to inflate these files and zip them. Done. Cool. So we're gonna install the ESP into the application server. We're going to do that by going to the install folder. There's a file we need to modify here called properties. Okay, this is an example file. You can rename it properties or you can make a copy of it. I'm used to uh, making, I like making copies of configuration files. In that way, if, if I mess it up, I can always revert back to the original configuration. Okay, we can comment this line out. And, um, okay, this is fine. This is a profile. It points to default. We're going to use the default profile. And we need to change this line. It needs to point to our application server. So we're going to go copy the path. Here's our app server. paste, save, okay, we're done. We need to open a terminal. Go to Let me go to JBoss ESP, the install folder, install, cool. From here we're going to run the end command. Basically what it's doing now, it's, it's installing the ESP to our application server. Build successfully. If, if you don't come right in the step, just verify that you've downloaded the right versions. And you make sure that um, your your the, the property files, the property file you've changed, you you've, you've changed it correctly. Okay, I think that's about it for the most part. Um, in the next tutorial, we're gonna discuss the folder structure of the application server and the ESP. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.